Hello, this is John Calvert, and this is going to be a quick demonstration of adding a page to the gallery. We're going to look at how it's done, why it's done, and then what you need to do if you're at the middle school and high school and you've got deep freeze on your computer. Okay, so if I go to my next page here, I'll see that I do not have anything on it. It's a blank page. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to build a math lesson, and I'd like to use a graphing page that I've put together uh, before on another lesson. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to add a page that I've built to the gallery just like these pages have been added to the gallery. If I double click on any one of those pages it provides me a example of uh, it provides me a copy of that page the complete construction. So in this case it's a variety of lines, text boxes, and dice in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is uh, open up that graph page that I've got from before. This is my graph page, and this is what I want to add to my gallery. The first thing you have to do is click on your gallery tab, click on my content at the top of that tab, and then select the down pointing arrow uh, that's next to my content. Actually create a new folder the first time you're doing this and name that folder something. In this case I'm going to name it graph. From now on if I want to uh, add something to that category I would simply select the graph folder and the thing that I add to the gallery will go inside that folder. Okay so now we've got our graph folder selected. Now I'm going to go to my page sorter select the page sorter and select the page that you want to copy to your gallery. You'll notice that it has a down pointing arrow in the corner there as well. Click that down pointing arrow. Then at the bottom of the menu that pops out select add page to gallery. It automatically adds it to the last folder that you had selected in the gallery and in this case it's the folder that I created called graph. There it is. Now I'm going to open up a new file, a brand new file. I'm going to actually remove, uh, I'll replace this with a new file. So I've got nothing in this file and I want to create my math lesson with my graph page. So what I need to do is go into my gallery and there it is. If I select my content, select the folder that I created, in this case graph, there's the page, and it even has this page curl at the top right, letting me know that it's a complete page. It's not just a background or an object. And when I put that in, I've got my points already cloned and ready to drag. I've got my pulled coordinate tab ready to go. Everything is built just like it was on the original page. So it's a very useful tool. The only thing is if you're at the middle school or high school, that gallery will not stay if you reset your computer, if you restart. So what you have to do is you have to export my content. I'm going to click the down pointing arrow, export as collection file, and I'll save it to my H drive. The next day when you come into school, just go to your H drive and double click on the collections file. It'll automatically install it on notebook. Nice and easy. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope this was a useful tutorial.